Hi Scorpio, welcome to your reading for the week. Again, this is a general reading for the sign of Scorpio. If you have Scorpio anywhere in your birth chart placement, anywhere in your astrological chart, please know that there is a message in this reading for you. Although it is dated and timestamped this message, do know that you will come across this message when there is something in it for you. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I also appreciate those comments. And I think that fellow Scorpions uh, appreciate those comments as well. It does uh, help get the message out. And I do appreciate those. Thank you, Scorpio. If this is your first time tuning in, the top row here is your uh, professional life, your public life, your work life, how you generate finances, the you you put out into the public. So even if you do not have a job or a career, if you're a stay-at-home mom or uh, retired, there is still a public you, a public... A public you and that is the you you put out in public um, the second row here is your home life your private life um close uh relationships close friendships siblings children spouses life partners parents grandparents sometimes will show up there but the you, the home you, the private you that you do not um, share with the general public. The final row here, the last row here, look at that beautiful string card. This is final messages, final advice. Um, what um, spirit, what God, what your ancestors, what the universe would like you to know, the underlying message the underlying energy here is a guardedness a guardedness of both um, your intellect a guard guardedness with your finances with your home life with your public life um, being guarded or need to be guarded need to be watchful or you are being watchful that is the underlying message underlying energy of this reading and let's see how that plays into your uh, public life your professional life more karma what is that what is and so in your professional life in your public life when I see these two major arcana cards here, it is karma. Either you putting, either the karma that you have put out or are putting out or receiving. And you are the one that determines whether that is um, good karma or negative karma. And what are we going to learn from that karma that we're either sending out, but I do believe it is that you are receiving. You are receiving more. So it looks like some information has come out in your public life, in your professional life, um, in your work life, in your career, in your business more so some thing has been revealed some information has come out but more is to be revealed more information is coming out and i think you are determining though you're being guarded 
and you are being guarded for a very good reason in your public life, in your professional life, because you are in a period or are entering in a, into a period where you can be abundant. And so many times when I see this card, I think of a fertile soil. And so there's fertile soil there. And what seeds are you going to plant? What ideas, what intentions, what are you wanting to manifest? And now is the time to plant those good, positive um, intentions, those good, positive seeds so you can manifest and you can send out that positive energy, that positive karma into the world. And maybe consider, even though you're guarded, Scorpion, Scorpio, even though you are guarded, Scorpio, consider or think of taking on a partnership or um, asking somebody to help you or you will come in contact with somebody that can help you with um, these new thoughts, these new intentions, these new ideas that you would like to manifest. Somebody that maybe you could use as a springboard just to make sure that um, you are being practical and realistic in are coming up with a good solid idea in what this is that you're wanting to manifest, that you're wanting to plant, that you're wanting to tend to. And I do believe that the more or the new information that is coming out or that is being revealed um, is going to help you manifest, help you plant the seeds that you are wanting to plant in your home life, in your private life. Look at that. That King of Pentacles is the richest card in the deck there. And I see you focusing in on something or someone that there is a decision or a discussion, a happy surprise that I think that this Wheel of Fortune is all about surprise for you in your home life, in your private life. A happy surprise. You're focusing in on a decision, a decision. But when you're making this decision, and this decision has something to do with moving forward, there's a decision that you're focusing in on about moving forward that is rich and abundant. But Consider that happy surprise, balance, guardedness. You are making or you are considering moving forward and focusing in on moving forward that will bring you in the abundance that you are looking for in your home life. 
and the happy surprise. I think the happy surprise here for you, Scorpio, is that things are going to work out much better than what you anticipated. And so if you're having or experiencing a little um, stress um, on this, do not try to force this situation. It is going to play itself out well for you. And perhaps maybe not be as typically, typically guarded as you usually are. Final thoughts, final messages. Look at that star card here and the strength card. Lots of um, emotions. Lots of maybe looking back or you've been spending a lot of time um, looking back on sadness and disappointments and shock and negative emotions. Scorpio, could you consider that possibly a gift? And what I mean by that is sadness can be an opportunity to grow. Disappointments can be an opportunity to grow. And that shock that occurred, that sadness that occurred, those can all expose areas of in our lives that um, quite possibly need to be looked at. And so if we go back to karma, with the karma, karma is a tool. In my opinion, karma is a tool that can be used to help us look at and analyze parts of our lives that we need to or that we can adjust and as we adjust those, we move closer to our soul's path, our life's purpose, our life's journey, our mission. And the closer we are to that path, the closer we are on that journey, the more in tune that we are, that the more we are able to manifest, the more we are able to bring into this reality what it is that we are meant to do. And so many times, um, those sadnesses, those disappointments, those shocks, those um, chaotic emotions can almost be used as guidelines, as guideposts. It's almost kind of like um, when you're driving a car and you're first learning to drive a car. One of the hardest parts about learning how to drive a car is staying within your lane, staying within the center line and staying within the road line there. And so it's a matter of learning how to correct and learning how to stay in the center and learning how to position the car. And your emotions, the disappointments, the shock, the sadness, they can all be used as indicators on how to um, better stay on that path. And the final thoughts and final messages here are asking you to look within for that inner voice, for that inner guide, for that um, inner knowledge and that knowing, and that knowing that you are the star, you are the, the main attraction in your life. And there's no reason for you to play second fiddle, no reason for you to um, not be the star of your own show and tap into that inner strength and tap into that inner ability that you do have to manifest everything that you would like to have in your life. And that is the fin final message that I have for Scorpio. Please like, share, and subscribe. I do appreciate those comments. And you have a blessed week, Scorpio. Thank you.